Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and we're back with another Warhammer Fantasy Battle Report. Today I'll be using my Bretts again versus Dom and his Night Goblins. Should be interesting. Yeah, I've, I want to redeem them a little bit so let's see if I can actually win a, a match. They'll be redeemed. We'll see, we'll see. But anyways guys, let's go check out the armies. We'll be checking out the Bretonian army first, seeing as they're going to be starting second. First we have a Bretonian Lord, he's got Lance and Shield, the uh, Antlers of the Great Hunt, a Great Gromroll Helmet, and obviously the Grail Vow. We have a Prophetess of the Lady with a Dispel Scroll and a Talisman of Preservation. She is level 4 with the Law of, law of Life. The Bretonian Paladin over here, he has a Dragon Helm and the Virtue of the Ideal. Our Bretonian Battle Standard Bearer. He has obviously the Grail Vow, same as the other one, and he's got a Trickster's Helm. Nine Knights of the Realm, full command. Thirty-five Men at Arms with Pole Arms, full command. Ten Skirmish Archers, no command. Three Pegasus Knights, full command. A Trebuchet. And six Grail Knights with a Razor Standard. Now, this is pretty much the same list I used last time. I still think it's pretty good. I'm working on new Bretonians but we'll see them soon enough. I'm just trying to see if it can redeem itself. I was in a kind of bad matchup last time, so we'll see. Looking over at the Night Goblins now, there's a lot of them. So uh, we've already deployed and uh, obviously I'm going second, so it just happens. Going up for the first heroes, we have... Uh, we have a, a, a Goblin Great Shaman, which has the uh, Wizard Level 4, a Magic BM, BRB, Irving Rod and Talisman of Protection. Here we go with the Night Goblin Warboss. He has the Armor of Destiny, the Biting Blade, the Lock Stone, and Potion of Speed. We have a Night Goblin Great Shaman, which has a Dispel Scroll, and it was a level 4. Which one? Uh, this one here. Yeah. Right, cool. I know they all look the same. And then I have a Night Goblin Big Boss, which has the Banner of the, ba the Bad Moon Banner, which is that one right here. Yeah. We have a 50 man squad, full command. May I may not have fanatics with a Netter in, in, in there somewhere. And these are melee boys, yeah? The melee boys at the moment, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then we have a range boys here, which is a full command, may or may not have fanatics. We have a 50 man blob, which has a full command, may or may not have fanatics. A 20 man blob, uh, full command, uh, with a netter, may not have fanatics. Uh, 20 man blob, uh, archers, may or may not have fanatics. Full command. Alright, so we've got a bunch of goblins versus some Bretonians. Obviously, the night goblins will be going first because I want to pray. So, we'll see you guys in just a sec. We're here at Goblin Turn 1, no charges to declare, but we do have some movement. Yeah, we're in panic mode right now, we're just trying to get up the board. Let's go move up, we're going to run these guys up 8 inches, just to get them ready to, to accept the charges. Everyone's going to be moving up 8 inches. Big blobs are moving up now. No fear. Well, they will be soon. The giant is going to run up, run up. he hasn't really got any melee, so he needs to get up quickly, as fast as he can. So 12 inches because you move 6 normally. Wow. Yeah, he's fast but he dies quick. <laughs> Next big blob is going to move up 8 inches as well because there's not much we can do. I'm just going to these guys behind him. And these guys are going to move up 8 inches as well. Just to get themselves up the front. Moving on to Winds of Magic. Let's see what they get. Ooh. And I'm going to see if I get my yep, two, two channels. That is a negative. Nope, I've got one channel. Nope. Coming in with his Night Goblin Shaman, trying to get off the big version of Addictive Glare onto these guys. He needs so, a 10 plus. Let's have a look. That goes off, but I have to roll my mushrooms. And plus 6, does, it does, this doesn't count for um, double 6, it only counts if... Yeah. So, so uh, you know what? Take it. D6 Trent Freeze coming in. Ooh. Too bad. That's 10, that's... Yeah, this is probably going to be a squad wipe. 10 shots coming in, Strength 3, Toughness 3, so 4s. See what happens. Not too bad. Just taking out all the misses. That's pretty much more than half, isn't it? Well, you have to save them. Save yep, them. that's six. Ouch. Six off for light armor. Two saves. And four dead. That's panicking. That went, that went better than Coming off with itchy nuisance towards my death blob, he needs a eight plus. So I'm going to roll for it. Then it goes off. Yep, and you have to cast the... Uh, no, this one's a great shaman, not on that goblin, great shaman. So okay. My goblin's eating all the mushrooms. Right, I'm gonna... Um, and what's... is he a level 4? Uh, he's level 4, yes. Right, I'm just gonna cast... Uh, despell with 4. Yeah, despelled. And finally, trying to get off the small variant of Curse of the Bad Moon. Ah, he's a 15 you. plus. Joke's on you. <laughs> that goes off. Dispel scroll. Oh, that's a 
that's just low. I honestly thought it was going to be two sixes. <laughs> you were so cocky there, I was like, oh no. <laughs> He's got cock dice. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to move on to shooting. Yeah. Wait, you can't, can you? I'm done. Alright, <laughs> so we'll see you guys in... Uh, panic for the magic face for them. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, these guys, say goodbye to them. They're um, cocked, yeah. Yeah, they're running. For three. Oh, now I get the good one. <laughs> Boy is running away over here, unfortunately, not doing anything before anything happens. Just living up to their name of peasants. So we're going to move on to Bretonia turn one. I've got a few charges to declare. Moving on to Bretonia turn one, I have a few charges to declare. These Knights of the Realm into that giant. Yay. That's going to be fun. So let's fight now. Whoops. Yeah, they're in. Yeah. Just so. Boom. Uh, and these Grail Knights with my Daft Blob into that unit over there. Alright. This is going to be a long charge though. I think I failed. You made it. Mm. Nine plus that. We're going to have to find out. Okay, so we just checked out. I'm actually in. I was a bit worried there because uh, I think we were just almost to the point of failing. So we're just going to smash right in. And move on to movement, I guess. Checking to see these boys are coming back. Nope. Four inches. Why is it always low with this roll? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Say that the peasants were probably the most pointless thing in this army. Moving these men at arms a little bit, so let's just... There. Marching over here with these guys, so just up here. And we're just going to make them look that way. Ending up over there with the Bretonians, and now moving on to Winds of Magic. Winds of Magic. For a 10. Ouch. Uh, two. Nope. And I've got one channel. Nope. Ooh. Three dicing Shield of Thorns into those Grail Knights over there so I can do a bit of damage. Into here, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that goes off. <laughs> uh, I don't think you wanted that result, but no. it goes off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shield of Fawns, and miscast. Let's see what happens. 11? I don't think that's a bad one. I think that is a bad one. Power Drain. Oh no. Well, interesting. I lose Shield of Fawns, but I've got it there. I lose one level, which means I lost that spell. How does that lower your Was it level down to...? Level 3. Yes. Oh. So I lose Shield of Fawns. So... That also doesn't allow me to carry on spells for the rest of this phase, so... Yeah, <laughs> I guess we move on to shooting. Right, so uh, it's the end of the magic phase. It's not going straight into shooting. I forgot that Shield of Forms actually does damage at the end of the magic phase, so... 2d6 worth of strength free hits. For 7. Ooh. 7 strength free, toughness free, so 4s. For... 4. Okay. 4 saves. Uh, normal saves, yeah? Yeah. That's it, cool. Same yeah. one. Yeah, three dead. Trying to squat these goblins, obviously with a trebuchet. So let's find out. Six inches this way. Uh, let's just measure that. Just moving over here. Yeah, it hits one. Three, I think it hits. Just three. Yeah, three. Strength five, toughness three, so twos. Yep. Ha! Oh no. One dead. Okay. Ouch. It's just going to be my luck today, isn't it? Okay, cool. Moving on to combat. Knights of the Realm coming in and attacking the giant, hitting all the threes. Decent. Yeah, not too bad. And they are now strength five because they charge versus toughness five, so fours. Fours, any fours, three wound. Wow. Three wounds, I'm down to three. Three wounds, that's not too bad. And I have some horses coming in. The horses coming in, hitting on fours. My rolls. I'm not killing it today. And wounding on sixes. One wound. A little chart to do here, so please roll. This is legit my favourite part of the giant. Four. Four. Oh. Swing with club. Yep, d6, strength six hits. Ouch! Don't worry, I'll get a one. Wow. Ow. Okay. Six, strength six, toughness three, so twos. Ah, oh, I still get two ones. Right, that's four saves. Ouch. A saving grace here, five ups and then five ups again. One saved. One saved, and five ups again. All five now. Another one saved. Two dead. 
this was quite painful, but we're going into combat resolution now. I have charged with a horse. I have a banner. I did, how many wounds though? Uh, well, five. Four wounds. Four wounds yeah, yeah, four wounds. Yes. I've done four wounds. You did two wounds. I did, I've got one more extra rank than you. So I win by six. What if I told you I'm stubborn and I reach ship ten? Is it stubborn? <laughs> Really? I believe it is. I'm just double check. Make sure I'm not cheating. Oh my god, no. Uh, stop and leadership 10. Right? What should we get 12? No. Yeet. <laughs> so he's fine. We're coming into combat over here, but we have a netter coming in first. Don't let me. Oh, thank you. Alright, so I minus 1 to my strength, but since I'm charging, I'm strength 5 instead of strength 6 now. That's perfectly fine. Hang in with my Bretonian Lord. He's got 4 attacks, hitting on 3s. And wounding on twos. That is two dead. Uh, two six up. Shield parry. That's what I have. Oh, okay. okay. That's all I have. No, two dead. My two paladins coming in, hitting on threes. Ah, nice one. Beautiful. And wounding on twos. There's always one one. So six six ups. Please save something. Yeah, hey, you saved one. So five, yeah? Yep. Ouch. Still hurts. My Grail Knights coming in with their attacks. Not too bad. Pretty good actually. And winning on whoops. And winning on twos. Nice. All these are saves. Sixes. Ouch. One more save. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dead. Yeah, this is uh, not good, going good for the goblins over here. Plutonium war horses coming in. Strength, uh, sorry, weapon skill three, so fours. Ouch. And strength three, so fours. Ouch. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, move on to the goblins attacking. Now three coming in with strength four, toughness four. Okay. So that's going to be two. Minus two. Two three ups. What, you have one up safe? Yeah. And five up. Saved. Nice. Cool. Shaman coming in trying to attack my Bretonian Lord, hitting on fives. Yeah. It's not so surprising, really. Okay, cool. Uh, I have two guys at the back. Yeah. And, that's, and, the, band, and the, uh, the banner plays three attacks. Yep. Uh, I think one hit. No. Weapon skill three versus weapon skill yep. six. One hit. So strength three versus toughness four, fives. Okay, cool. Uh, straight to combat, Rizzo? Uh, yeah. Right, well, you're going to be stubborn anyway, regardless, because uh, you're steadfast. Stubborn. Right, so we're going to do combat resolution. I killed 15 guys. I charged with a horse. I have an extra banner than you. And uh, you've got three ranks over me, because goblins. Despite the fact that I've won by this much, unfortunately, steadfast. Moving on to the panic stage here, see if they break. Leadership 7. They hold. They hold. Just... Right, so we're going to move on to Goblin turn 2. Any charges to declare? Um, none so far. Okay, well we'll let you go on to movement. Yeah. Moving on to Goblin turn 2, no charges to declare, but we do have some movement. Yes, we've got these guys, I want to move these both up, because they're not really doing much here, are they? Marching up? Yeah, I have to march. I don't know where we're getting in. That's fine. I'll try to shoot you with the thing again and just hit one because, yeah. Oh, you could hit more than one. That was just unlucky. And these two squads over here. I'm going to reform these guys. Get them ready, yeah? Yeah. Reforming them. And I've got a musician, so that means I can move as well. Oh, I, yeah. can't. I can't reform. I just realised that if I move these guys out of the way, they can do the reform, so I'm going to move these guys first. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't realise. So I'm actually going to move lose three inches and turn them like this, okay? Yep. I'm going to do a reform here because now I can do the reform. Yep. Turn on the spot, and I'm just going to prepare myself for the inevitable charge that's going to happen. Yep, sounds make a lot of sense. So we're going to move on to Winds of Magic. Winds of Magic for the Goblins over here. Need something high. Not too bad. Nine, yeah. And just going to do two, two win, and uh, no. And I've got one channel. Nope. We have Night Goblins here trying to get the gift of the Spider God. He needs an eight plus. 
Let's see what happens. And I need to roll dice. Yep. Plus three. Plus yep. four. Uh, you can take it. Vindictive Glare coming in into the Pegasus, I'm assuming he wants to use the big version, which needs a 10 plus. Yep. So let's find out. It goes off, but see what happens. Uh, plus two. Take it. I'll take it. Okay, so it's going to be... 3d6 uh, strength freeze. Yeah, I'm just going to do it now. 3d6 strength freeze. For 12. 12 strength free toughness four, so fives. So that's... Ooh, five. Okay, five, uh, no minuses. No minuses. So five up, two ups. Saved. Also. Curse of the Bad Moon coming over. He's trying to do the big version, which needs a 25 plus. Yeah, that goes off. Yeah, okay, and that was the rest of your dice, yeah? Uh, yeah. I'm so all my D-spell dice was pointless. Yes. Cool. I played his set, and now he gets to choose where it goes. I'm assuming it's going to go try and pass my Pegasuses. Yeah, I've got a little bit of damage there. Yeah, so let's go. For a 10. A 10, let's hope from the center. Yeah, yeah that's my dudes. I should lose, but it stays in play. Yeah, just uh, put the guys over it, yeah. Just hit so it hits. And you have to roll a d6 to find out what it is. No, nope. uh, the big one I allow, I can actually choose it. So he's chosen the strength, and I've got three strength tests to make, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, three dice. Right. So. Two wounds, that's okay. one guy dead, yeah. and one guy's fine. I think the musician goes first, is that correct? Uh, yes, I think, yeah. Cool. No, I think they're immune to psychology, I'm going to find out now. But either way, before we do anything, you have a miscast to do. I do indeed, let's have a look. And I'm going to use, uh, do I have an rod? Let me check if I have an rod. So you've got a dimensional cascade, which means that everything under that template takes a strength 10 hit. Uh, the dog's crying for some reason, so apologies for that. She's just had vaccinations and unfortunately she's in a little bit of pain. So yeah, 19. We've got two lookout sirs. Yep, two lookout sirs. Made Fine. it. Made it, that's two dead. So 19, well 17 now, to be killed. Yep. 17 strength, 10 toughness, three, so twos. Yeah, a few saved. So for out, that means uh, 13 dead. Not too bad. Just a flash wound. That's a panicking, but I've also got a panicking to do. So, yeah, let's do panickings first. Mine. Safe. Mine. Safe. Cool. All right, um, moving on to close combat. Or do you have some shooting? Uh, I oh, no, you have to roll a dice. Oh, yeah. I'm Four. Fine. He's fine. Just. <laughs> yep. Sorry. It's a weird thing, isn't it? So, yeah, we're going to move on to close combat. Uh, we'll do this one first. And then these over here. Right, so my Grail Knights are coming into the Giant, hitting on freeze. Not too great. And then wounding on sixes. Yeah. One wound. Down to one. And now my horse is coming in, hitting on fours. One. Ooh. You need one. And wounding on sixes. Nope. Oh, make it I have hard. a chart to hit over here. Let's see what happens. Throw into combat. No, no, jump up and down. So I was looking at the wrong thing there. Uh, jump up and down. Interesting. So we're going to have to see if the giant is going to fall over or not. No, he's fine. And now he does uh, two d6 from six for five. Ouch. It's going to be very, very painful. Okay, two up, I believe, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. All but one. Right, so that's five ups and five ups. Ooh, two safe so far, and five ups once again. No, two. Ouch. I'll take them out from the middle. Moving on to combat reservoir over here. He did two wounds, I did one wound. I've got a banner, tied. Very interesting, but we'll see what we can do from there. Now we're gonna move on to combat over here. Moving on to close combat over here, we have a netter trying to come in. Oh, he lets, him, he lets us. Cool. I need strength four here because I've lost my charge. So I'm going to do some damage. Coming into close combat over here, I'm just going to use all my laws at the same time because they've got the same statistics at the moment. So freeze and then freeze. Whoa. Ouch. That's not too bad. What ones though? And freeze. 
four. One, two, three, four, five. Normal size, yeah? No, minus two. Minus two? Okay, so six up. Six up. Hmm, that was four. Grail Knight's coming in, once again, freeze, and then freeze. And freeze again. Four, five, six ups. Let's see if I can save some. Four more dead again. Horus is coming in, hitting on fours. Not great. And hitting, wounding on fours. So what's two saves. What's this room? Uh, three but minus one because rate is standard. Because the banner affects them, doesn't it? Um, yeah. Yep, so six ups. Two dead. Two dead. We've got a bunch of attacks coming in. Four coming into the Bretonian Lord at the moment. So hitting on fours. Hey. And then wounding on strength three for toughness four fives. So that's one arm pitting. One, so two up. Safe. We've got a bunch of goblins coming in for the Lord again. Um, just one? Yeah. And then sixes. Hey! Okay. Two up. One up. Ooh. One up. Yeah. And six up. No, takes a wound. So down to two. I don't know how I've got to be able to do that to the Lord, but okay. Hey, it happens, it happens. Combat Rezo, um, you're still going to be stubborn, so there's no point. Two dice, seven up. Safe again. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I've bits one away from that. So we're moving on to Bretonia turn... Three, two. Moving on to Bretonia turn 2, unfortunately no charges to declare, so we have a panic test to do here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, did damage. They, they were supposed to run. They did their job. Uh, there was no charges, obviously. I've got no movement to do, so we're going to move on to Winds of Magic. For a 9. I have one channel. Nope. I have two. Hey, mm -hmm. you got one. Seven. Yeah. I'm going to try and despell this because I don't want it around. I need a 25. Nope. Nope. That's fine. Alright, uh, we're going to carry on. I'm gonna, I've only got three magic dice left, there's really no point. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that and then we're going to do Awakening the Wood because I thought to do that before. Uh, let's find out where it goes. Okay, first things first, it's going to be a strength test. Now we're going to move it. Goes into yours. Yep, it's ready to mine. Moving eight inches with that, I'm gonna do the two strength tests first. So let's just check that out. One wound on one guy, so down to one. And, and then we get dice ready for these guys. Yeah, we, well, we're gonna have to find out where it goes first. Like, uh, how much it's gonna hit. Because it's eight from the top, isn't it? It's gonna move these guys out of the way for a second. Yeah, it goes through. So, seven, yeah, so it goes here, so it stays here. But it's just there, okay? Yeah. So it's only the building, but... Okay, well, that, let's find out how much damage it is. That hits everyone. Interesting. Ouch. Let me get dice ready. We have uh, 21 strength tests here at, at strength 3, so let's see what happens. Ooh, not too bad. Quite a few saved. Actually, quite a lot saved. No, those are all dead. Four saved. Sorry? <gasps> oh, no. No, the freeze also. You've got one, two, and three, four. Fairly decent, but those are all dead. Three and rank. Oh no, my rank bonus is all gone. Ouch. This is just uh... Cool. And now I have 2d6 worth of strength freeze for 10. 2d6 worth of strength freeze on toughness freeze, so fours. For. One, two, three, four. Really? That's all the damage I did? Four minus ones. Uh, uh, no, no minuses, no minuses. So sixes. Sixes. Four dead. Four dead. Ouch. Yeah, that's not too bad. You should have to do a panicking test. Yeah. Well, you would, but it's and stubborn, wouldn't you? No, I don't have to stop that. I'm really close combat. Oh, cool. Uh, right, we're going to... Move on to close combat now, aren't we? Because we've got nothing else. Knights of the Realm coming in, hitting on fours. Threes, actually. And wounding on sixes. Nothing. And now, 
All it needs is one wound. My horses. It needs is one wound. Hitting on fours. All but one. Wounding on sixes, please let me kill this thing. Yeah! Yes! Now it falls over. Damn it! <laughs> Where's it fall? I think you hit one dude. Yep. So it goes. Squishes one dude. Strong six, yeah? Uh, yeah. So... Hold on, I think it's D3 strength for 6, let me just double check the stats. Okay, so we've got a strength 6, toughness 3, wound. obviously 2 plus. Makes a wound. Yep, yeah, 5 up save. Nope, 5 up ward. Nope. Well, at least he killed someone. Wow. Absolutely wow. But we can get him out of the way, and... Ow. I stabbed myself. And we can reform. Other than that, we have some combat to do here. Yeah, these guys are dead. But, uh, so far so good. My disappointment with that magic phase and moving straight into combat, I forgot to fire this, didn't I? You're, you're allowed to shoot. I'm sure you haven't done any sort of, um... No, no, we've done combat. I, we have to keep things legit. I just want to, like, uh, highlight this because it happens a lot to me. Keep an eye on shooting, especially when you play horde factions like Skaven where you don't have a lot of shooting. Now you've got something that can actually do damage. Eh. It is a bit misfired. Well, you have to fire to misfire, don't you? But yeah, we're going to move on to combat over here. We have a netter coming in, so he's going to try and pick up one. Yeah. Yeah, so that's now strength three, right? Cause... Yeah, strength three. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, right, I'm just going to finish this off. Uh, right, I'm going to use my normal guys first, so just one sec. Using the normal Grail Knights first to go into the squad, hitting on threes. And wounding on fours. Two minus ones. That's two six ups. Two minus ones. Ooh, two of spin slain. Yeah, not too bad. There now I'm going to do the horses. Uh, no, I'm going to do the champion. I'm going to use the Bretonian Lord onto your spellcaster. Hitting on freeze. Nice. Wounding on freeze. For three wounds. Minus one. Uh, minus one. He's dead. Splat. And I'm going to use my two paladins to go into your. I'm going to use my two paladins to go into your big boss. Yep. Hitting on freeze. Wow. Oh. And wounding on. What's your toughness? Four. Wounding on fives. Two wounds. Two wounds. Minus one. Um, yeah, he has a shield. Right, two six ups. And I also get a ward, so I need to double check what that is. All right, and two fort boards. One wound. Two wounds. Two. Ouch. These guys would have to shuffle this way. And I'm going to make my horses just go into the general squad. Weapon skill three on the horses, so we're hitting on fours. Ouch. And strength two, toughness three, so fives. Nothing. Okay. Well then. Well then indeed. Hit me back, good sir. Big boss coming in. Going into the one that hit him, because yeah. Ooh, three. And strength four and armor piercing. Uh, strength four, toughness four, fours. And armor piercing to minus two. Ouch. Three ups. And five up. Was that a six up before? No. What was a six up before? Strength four. Well, six up, yeah, but either yeah, yeah. way, you got a six. Yeah, I'm saying, saying yes, you're right, but I still got a six. <laughs> and he's actually down to two. I, I need to keep that there. I don't know why that dash disappeared. And you've got a few goblins to do some damage, too. Uh, yeah. Which is like three guys? Yeah, two. Yeah, three guys, so four attacks in total. And yep. Two. And one. One. Wow. Actually, good shot. Yeah. Uh, minus one, yeah? Yeah. So two. No, 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 no. Yeah, because you've got the razor banner. Uh, not a banner, it's, it's the biting blade that I have on Oh, the okay. Well, either way, I saved it. Sorry, I thought that was a banner. Yeah, your BSB is over there. Like, night goblins all look the same. They all, they all look the same. It's, it's, it's quite confusing. So, um... Double ones. Obviously. Yeah, double ones. If I get a double one now... Now they run. And I'm gonna chase. So, uh, seven. seven. Before I move my CV, can You don't? Okay. No, I'm just on six. Okay. Fun. No, you're on, you're on four, yeah, six. So, what is uh, seven? Yeah. So, that's my lucky number today, I swear. I don't know why. 
you've been getting a lot of servants, and I'm just one inch off, so can you just move me up there? So we're going to move on to Goblin turn three now. Any charges to the clear? Um, hold on, let me think. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to move up uh, four inches. So just under, just under like pivoted. So about two inches this way. And seven, so I want to march these guys up because there's no point in one range. Okay, and we've got a leadership check over there, which is double ones. Six. Very close to the edge. Um, let's put this guy here. So I can move these guys out of the way. Six, right? Yep. Right. There. Got Winds of Magic coming in over here. For a eight, I've got a channel. Nope. And, I, and I've got a channel. Nothing. Just doing some strength tests over here just to see if they're fine. No, not, not at all. Three guys take wounds. Wards, two guys take wounds. Using that caster over there to try and cast off Curse of the Bad Moon again, he's got six dice. Wait, my, 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 my mushroom? Plus three. All right, I'm gonna try and dispel it with five. Yep. Don't think you do, I don't know how you want to blow it off before you dispel it. Oh, yeah, we've got to check that there. <laughs> it's 25. Uh, so we've got six. Six, six. 24, yeah, went off. He just managed to get it off, so we're gonna see where it goes. 4d6 moving to any direction that he wants. Alright, it's gonna go that way, see if I can hit a few more people. For a 16. It travels quite some far. We've got these guys over here and these guys over here. Just check on me, those guys will hit. 12. 12. And it, and it would stay in play there. Yep, so what we're going to do is... What did you want it to be? Uh, strength test, please. Strength test? Okay. Four strength tests over there. Four strength tests. Ouch. Three guys dead. Do you know I have a ward? Oh yes, I do. Three ward saves coming in. Hey. One dice. One dice. Twelve strength tests coming in for the men at arms. They are strength four. Two, three, four, five, six, five, six dead. Not too bad. We do have panicking over here. Okay, panic time. They're fine. Yeah. Had to make sure. We have a curse of the bad moon over here. This is 3d6, isn't it? Yeah, 3d6 random movement. And touches one of your guys and goes over there somewhere. Yep. So that one tail guy at the back. So, strength four? Yeah. Takes a wound. No ward. Ouch. Two archers over here trying to shoot at these pegasuses, hitting them eights. So sixes and then fives, and then they can try and wound. Let's go. They can't sixes. Quite a few sixes. Not too bad actually, yeah. And, and five. Five plus. On these guys. So one. And then strength three, toughness four, fives. Hey. Give me a wound, please. They deserve it. Two up. Oh. Safe. <laughs> he served that one wound. Hey, uh, it, was, it was impressive. Now we are moving towards... Shooting over here, I'm gonna see if I can do some shooting over here. The guys over here trying to hit at these guys, hitting on eights again, so sixes. Okay. Okay, now fives. And now sixes because of... Um, yeah, top toughness. Of the seven. Seven. Okay. Hey, tried. So we're going to move on to Bretonia turn three. I have one charge to declare. Already? Well, multiple charges actually, but one over there. Oh, that was fine. Oh. over here, he has to flee, so... Let's see. Yeah. Fleeing. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. So, just reforming. Uh, uh, I need to test yeah. yeah, now you can reform. And just turning around. These knights into that. Okay, cool. What are you ready? For eight plus eight, sixteen. Yep, I'm in. Uh, stop eight inches away from me, please. Yep. I have five, five from, from the here. Yeah, from here. Okay, uh, let me just see where the eight inches was. Eight inches is here, so push it back a bit. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. We have the knights. 
<laughs> finally coming out to play with you guys. Thanks coming out to play. To this guy, how far as you go? Right way through. So he pops through. Yep. And this guy next next to him. Uh, five inches, not so far up, but definitely blocking your charge. And the final guy, you have to see what happens. Uh, same five inches, I'm going to try and stick him just behind my uh, here so you pass through two. He'd have to be away. But there you go. Yeah. Okay, so we have D6 coming in. D6 from the guy here. For two. two. Right. Uh, two is to win. And that's minus three. Yep, five ups and five ups. Nope. Five ups. One dead, uh, would be the musician. And now hit me with two d6 because I'm, I'm hitting you. So these two are dead. However, this squad is gone. Southern. Ooh. Right, so we have southern two ups. There we go. Always one. And five ups and five ups. Bad. And five ups again. No, they're dead. They're dead, but I managed to kill them. I do have one more charge to declare, and thankfully they're skirmishes. I'm just gonna awkwardly put them here because the models, whilst they look really cool, they don't really rank up. Well, yeah, it's like yeah, it's like look, they're kissing. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna move on to Winds of Magic because I really don't have anything else. Actually, I'm gonna move on to moving. I just wanna prepare myself and do this. Cool. That horse is dead. Winds of Magic. Six. I have one. I have one. I do not. I've got a few spells to cast. I'm gonna cast Shield of Thorns on two dice onto those boys over there. I hate you. <laughs> I'm gonna cast with two dice for the vines. So that is nine plus four. Thirty. So what this is a general augment. What does it do? It buffs up all my other spells. Um, okay, I'll try and spell with two, with two dice. I think that's equalized. Equalized. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna cast with two dice. Flash the stone for an eight. Spell? Yeah, okay. Pointless magic. Got a uh, movement happening here with this um, Cross of the Bad Moon. Wow, well, sorry. And this way. Yeah, so nothing. I think it's off, it's off the table. E 14. Yeah, I think it's off the table. Yep. Yeah. No, no, just off. And if any part touches it, does it automatically come off? I think so. Let's double check that for me. I'm not too sure if that's the con. Yeah. It is technically off the table. Yeah, no, I think so, because it's like when a model just touches it. Yeah. So that's off. And right, cool. We have one more over here. Yep. What are we gonna do? Hopefully it'll go back onto your guys. No. <laughs> not so lucky. Nine inches this way. Cool. I'm gonna try and fire over here. I wanna do some damage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave a dice here as a marker where that's where the middle is. Trying to fire, thank you, Dom. Trying to fire over here with this. I'm pretty much, this is my last range, so I need to do some damage. <laughs> oh my God. Right, so I have a um, misfire chart to do, so. Two, disabled. Yep, that's fine. Can't shoot. No worries. Cool. Uh, close combat, I guess. Okay, let's go. Let's move on to close combat. Pegasus Knight's coming in, hitting on threes. Wounding on twos. There you go. Um, one six up. No, not there. One dead. Ouch. And then my Pegasus is coming in. Hitting on... They actually have decent stats. Hitting oh, on threes. Oh, hold on. I forgot to do my... Yeah, you're, you've minus one to your strength. Alright. Because you could have hit me and I could have perfected it myself. Okay, cool. Uh, we've got... Hitting on freeze again. And now wounding on fours. One. Minus one. No, no minuses. Still wanted. So goblins coming in. Weapon skill three versus weapon skill four. Let's see fours. Not 
too bad. And toughness four. Toughness four, strength three. Thanks. One. One, no minuses. No minuses. So two up. Yeah. Safe. Goblin war boss coming into here. Three attacks coming in on fours. Hey, nice. strength four, toughness four, fours. Not so yay. <laughs> no. Okay. So we're gonna do combat rezo. I charged with Cav. I have, you have a banner, you, do you have a BSB in there? Yes. You have a BSB, so I'm just going to put that there. Uh, I did two wounds, so let me just get one dice. Ooh. I did two wounds, you've got three ranks, I win by one. Okay, so six. No, no, you're stopping regardless, aren't you? So seven. Eight. We're rolling. Yes. He holds. Oh, that's why you need a BSB, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that's pretty much the end of my turn. We've got, whoops, sorry about that. We've got Goblin turn four. We're moving on to Goblin turn four. No charges, but some movement. We're just gonna march these guys up, so I'm moving two to pivot this way, two to move forward a bit, and then that's going to be four movement. So, just like that. These guys are going to try and get everything like that if they can, because why not? Might as well. Get them out, so. Check how far I am from the unit. I would have stopped there and released the fanatics first, okay? Right, we have three fanatics trying to get rid of the trebuchet, so this one. Yep. Straight through. Plop. Next one. Close, but no cigar. And next one. Close. Well. We'll just see six, see what happens, sir. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Five strength, five toughness, seven, so sixes. One. One wound. Ouch. We're gonna try and find out where this boy is going now, so he could probably hit my guys here, there, go back over there. Yeah, it's all random with me. Nope, to you. Yep, yeah, pops through. No doubles, boom, boom. And d6. Four. Four, two pluses. This is gonna hurt. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh -huh. <laughs> but we've got uh, Winds of Magic now. Uh, yes. We've only one spellcaster. Can he do any spells? He's got some more he can try and do. Oh, that's not too bad. We're rolling to see what happens, yeah? Yep. For and a seven. And one more, just in case. No, seven. And one for me. Trying to get our gift of the Spider God over here. Get them poison attacks against me. And I've got one more for my magic mushroom. Plus four. I'm just going to try and dispel it. That's gone. Yeah. That's good, by the way. There we did. Two. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we really wanted to see what that was. I thought I was going to get triple. I've got one more augment spell. I have armor piercing pressure if I get this spell off, basically. So, minus one. I didn't know you had this one, but okay, cool. It's Go for it. I didn't even know. I was just a sneaky stab. It's not only if I hit you from behind, I think. Okay, so he's going for sneaky stabbing. Let's see if he, well, he's going to get it off. I don't care at this point. And yeah. No way. Oh, am I not? Yeah, it goes off. If I would have won, it would have failed instantly. Well, if I would have won and then won again, it would have failed instantly. Oh, that's not too bad. So it's fun off. So, moving on to shooting. Yes, shooting. Over there. The guys over here trying to hit over there with eight, so... We're trying! Sixes. Leave us alone! One, and then fives. No. <laughs> At least they're trying, okay? And then 20 shots over there, I'm assuming... No, because I marched, remember? Oh, both of them marched? Yeah, I marched, both of them marched. I wouldn't have gotten over ages if I didn't march them. We're moving on to close combat over here then. Close combat over here, freeze. Ouch. And no, hit me with your net first. Oh yeah, sorry. I hit myself, so we might as well. Actually I could choose, but I chose to do it. Yeah, so freeze. One. Six. Oops, sorry. Keep forgetting you have shields. Something I have saving me right now. <laughs> And I have Pegasus, freeze. And then freeze again. One. One takes up. You made it. Oh, nice one. Okay, watch these Pegasus die. They have a top save. Please. They have a top save, I'm doing nothing to you. It's like the same thing. People bring dragons to fight my night goblins. They're night goblins, they can't do any damage. No, you're going to beat me by rank bonus, though. Oh, yeah, but I don't really catch up with you. Let's go. Right, cool. Right, so goblins and wizard coming in, hitting on. I've got weapon skill four. Force. Force. 
Already? That's all the pissing. Oh, pissing, sorry. That's good. Cool, go. And strength three, toughness four. So fives. That's Two saves. Oh, I'm piercing. <laughs> Two free ups. Yay! Saved. And the boss. Just free, free attack. Sorry. <laughs> free attacks. I roll better when I, when I drop by them. Uh, and strength four, toughness four. Four. Nothing. Right, so this is the thing, right? Either way, I've lost combat because I did one wound. Are they not stopping? I don't think so. No, they're fast cap, no. So I did one wound. He's got an extra banner above me. He's got three extra ranks. Ranks. So I lose by four. Three. I lose by three. Interesting. I'm in range of my banner though, so that's fine. But yeah. So I have leadership five. Rerolling. Oh, insane bravery! <laughs> I don't even need the reroll. They hold. They hold. <laughs> wow. Nice one. Is that like the only good roll I've had all game? No, it was a really bad roll that just, in this case, was good. Yeah. <laughs> Please, right. get, this, get this right. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to move on to Bretonia turn four. Yeah. Any, any charges? Unfortunately not. Any movement? Yes. I'm going to move this way, so I'm going to just get, get him, off, him off and just prepare myself like this. Perfect. And I'm just going to get myself ready here, so... Perfect. This is just kind of frustrating because I, I was hoping to break, but we'll go for that. I'm going to go straight into Winds of Magic. Four is six. Just going to see what I get. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, yeah, we'll see what we'll, we'll let you think about that because big time. Since... Two dice to cast Throne of Vines onto these guys. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, it goes off. Right, uh, it's on, so I'll just. Put that there. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Is there no two dice and he gets a double six? <laughs> Going for the um, miscast. For an eight. Oh no. Right, so first she takes the strength six hit, twos. Four up ward. Hey! D6 is now lost from the power pool though. And that's the rest of my magic phase. No one else died? No one else was killed? No. no. Else but we have to move that and I, I'm just like, what a horrible magic phase! Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna soon die. <laughs> okay, now, let's move this around. It's completely random, so it should be fun. Right, we're gonna find out where this is going. Bye bye. There. So that's it, we're gonna move on to shooting. Uh, is that what I mean? 12? Can I get one? Nope. Yes. Right there. Moving on to my shooting phase. This is over here to mark for this, by the way. I'm right here with 12 inches. Watch me misfire again. Oh, I hit. You hit? Yes. I hit. You hit. No, guys, literally, I hit. <laughs> This is the first time in like eight games I've played this Bretonians that this actually hit. So that's 20 dice. 20 dice. Ouch. Two is, yeah? Yeah. If you get all ones, I'll lock my, my Oh, knowing my luck. <laughs> 20 shots coming in, wounding on twos. Have you got a hit first? No, it's a stone throw. Whack. Uh, that's two ones, 18. 18? Okay, cool. So down to two. <laughs> Wouldn't it just been easier just to like take out the two models and then just move If in? your opinion was wanted, I'd ask for it, okay? <laughs> right, I just say. It's a thematic. I want to show people that I'm just sleeping away. <laughs> they mean nothing to me. They've got a panic. I've got no Double. other shooting. <laughs> Double ones. Yeah, they run. Running away. Four inches. So we just have to do that. Panic way. test. They run away. Bye bye! <laughs> it's 
be honest, I would run if that many guys just died next to me, to be fair, so I can't really complain. Yeah. So let's move on to combat over there. Um, Netta? Or do you not want to use him? Uh, I'll use him. Netting. Made it. Okay, I've got one strength left. We've got uh, three attacks coming in, hitting on freeze. Wounding on force. One wound. Six up. And then four attacks, hitting on freeze. Wounding on force. Hey, two. Two, two six, six ups. Nope, two dead. Yay. Hit me back. I will hit you back. Thank you very much. And I forgot to do my spell on you. Ah. Okay, hitting on fours. Obviously, you got those ones. And fives. Was it fives or fours? Fives, yeah. Cause Top is fours, yeah. So three, uh, and I'll, I'll put this in effect. Right, so three free ups. Yay! One dead! We did something! We're not complete failures! And that's it, yeah? Uh, just the war boss. Just the war boss, so three attacks. Fours. Minus two. Minus two? Yeah, because I have four and an half isn't. Four up. No, takes a wound. Yay! Down to one. We're not completely useless. Alright, so combat reso, I did three wounds. You have an extra banner. You've done two wounds. You have three ranks over. So five again. Rerolling. Rerolling. They run. Oh, I need to throw another dice. That. Okay. Panicking for these guys. These guys do not panic because these guys have the Grail Vow, these guys they have the Knight's Vow. So, panicking for these guys. Seven. Safe. Okay. Ouch! <laughs> ah. Wait, we're just going to make him look this way so he shows that he's running. He's running away. Um, we're going to move on to Goblin turn five. Cool. Any charges to the car? Um. No. Coward, you're afraid! <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm gonna charge to these guys. What? Charge? Oh, my nonsense! Yeah, they're in. They're in. So they're all charges, I want to clear. I'm actually gonna move these guys up four inches. Just to kind of get there, so I can shoot those guys in the face. Alright! Uh, I'm gonna lose this game, I'm, I'm just gonna try and lose some dignity. And we forgot to move the Fanatics. No, they move now. Fnatic's moving this way, which one are you moving? Oh, I'm this one. Okay. Off the table. Right away. This, this one. one. Hits the other one. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oh, you forgot one. We got one over here. Five inches. And Winds of Magic, I guess. Winds of Magic coming over here. He's already got one spell. Sorry. Yep. Ooh, not bad. You got a chat? I've got a chat? No. I mean, you've only got one augment, so you might as well just get it off now. So, Curse of the Spider God, where he's going to get himself uh, poison attacks. Right, so we have Gift of the Spider God coming out for a 8 plus. And wait a sec before I eat more mushroom. Alright, I'm gonna try and despell. So. No, he's got poison attacks too. Ouch. Okay. Moving on to no shooting. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, shooting over right here. 20 uh, shots. 20 shots. Got 20 shots coming in over here on sixes. Fair amount of sixes. Two. Just two. Two? Yeah, it helps. And fours. Fives. Wait, strength two? Strength three. Then twos. That's a four. No, no. Oh. It's just strength four, yes, but the top is three. Head, 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 head. Alright, nothing. Nothing. But hey, it's fine. We're gonna move on to combat over here. I get to go first. Yep. Just remembering I have a spell here 2d6. Six. It's the first. This is the first time I've actually remembered it in a while. I've actually gone a few phases without we're forgetting it. 
Uh, toughness three, so fours. Distributed the shooting, so two saves, no minuses. Um. We've just remembered that we've had a vortex over here also. It's just been a long day, so we're just gonna find out where it goes. Just making sure, in case the camera missed it, it's over here. And we've got two checks here. No. No. And these guys. They're dead. Right. They failed their check or they're back? Uh, they fill the check. They fill the check, so they're leaving the table. They're down. Oh, they're in the table. I don't want them. Yeah. Spread. Moving on to close combat over here, we have a netter. Uh, I'm not going to use him. No? No. Okay. Uh, I'm going to come in with my normal dudes first. Hitting on freeze. And strength four, toughness three, so freeze. So that's five parry saves. Parry saves. Five dead. Five dead. I have two uh, free Grail Knights coming in. And strength four, tough as three freeze. So three parry saves. Parry saving. Oh, we're dead. And the horse is coming in. Just two. No, three. And strength three, so fours. Just one save. All right, make my attacks for you. Yep. Attacks coming into the. Oh, you have to decide where they're going. All right, so. Um. It's all, it's all my unit here, um, Lords. Uh, I'll go into the Lord who's already, already wounded. So this guy and this guy, you know, into there. So that's going to be two attacks going into the Lord here. Yep. One also wound. And that's safe. Yep. Uh, armor pissing, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so two up. Safe. Right now. A bunch of goblins going into this Lord over here. Hitting on fives, or fours, sorry. Uh, fours. And toughness four. Nothing. Nothing. And my lord. Yep. Hitting on two four. wounds. Two wounds and four. And that's minus two. Why did you roll again? You also wound. Sorry? You have poison tags. They're all two sixes. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> two wounds. Right. Um, minus two, three ups. And what strength is he? Uh, strength four. Six up. Nope. Down to one wound. Mm. Wait, who are you hitting? The banner bearer? This guy here. Oh, no, nah, he's down to one, yeah. Right, he's down to one. This guy has two. So, he's got two banners. I've got two banners. He charged. He did one wound. I've done one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine wounds. And he has two more ranks over me, so what we're going to do is we're going to take away that, take away that, take away that. I win by four. All right, You're not. steadfast, yes? I'm not, uh, yep. We roll. Yep, I run. Okay. The one, do you want to chase him down? Yeah. Dead. And with that, I think I'm going to call it because we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to call it, guys, because this unit's just been destroyed. I'm going to be basically charging in next turn and so on. We're on turn five anyway, so yeah. we're going to call it. Good game, Dom. Good game, man. And we'll see you guys in the outro. So we've reached the end of the game, and hey, first win for the Brits. Not a very satisfying victory, to be honest, because my trebuchet... Yeah, and I kept forgetting a lot of phases. I'm still trying to get used to this army, guys. But I think it was fairly fun. Yeah, it was quite fun fighting them. I, I enjoyed seeing the different rules in the award save really saved you a lot, which yeah. was really, really awesome. Um, I, I got like, really need a bit more work just to make them a little bit more fun to play, but yeah. apart from that, it's a really fun game. I'm honestly working on some new brats, and there'll be a new army coming soon, and it's just, we're busy working on something else. Uh, it's another studio <laughs> army. Uh, I'm not going to give you a lot about it, but let's just say there's a lot of bones. But with that, my friends, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, might I suggest giving the video a like or even subscribing to the channel as it really does help us out. Once again, 
Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all again very, very soon. Bye. Have a good day.